The entire field. Incredible. You're better than I thought. Sweet. Oh yeah, these are all the side quests that Gohan used to do. They look weak. No cause. I'm gonna take you down. Pretty sure most of them died. Now you know how powerful I am! Oh wait, Master Roshi, Master Roshi, Master Roshi. We need to talk, fam. So, this is the home of Master Roshi. Very well. This looks to be some great meat. Later! Very well. Get all Later. this stuff. All uh, this free stuff. Okay, that's it. Yep. Alright, so I gotta head to West City, apparently. So how is everybody enjoying this stream today? Everything is looking good, looking great. Just catching up on some good old Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Today, I really hope to finish the uh, Cell Saga for real. And as you can tell by the title of the stream, I am indeed playing on the PS5. Yeah. And why am I starting so far back to compared to last stream? Because upon transferring some of my save data over to the PS5, I kind of lost some of it, and including some on this game, so I had to, uh, right now I'm just trying to work my way back to where I was. Yeah, because before, when I first found out, I was sent way back, I mean, the beginning of it's the Android Saga, where Trunks attacked. showed up, it's strange to see it like this. the I fight freeze up, yeah, it was way back, but, you know, right now we're catching up, we're kind of close, actually. We're getting close, but right now, you know, let's, you know, again, catch up, so we're supposed to meet up next to where? Oh, yeah, we got to find the other time machine. They look weak. No cause for concern. I'm going to take you down. But first, go on, get him. Now you know how powerful I am. Should be in this area. Let's start looking. Uh, that's a time machine, all right. Oh shit! <laughs> the boom, the impact of that mountain being destroyed scared the shit out of me. I thought it was an actual explosion happening happening outside my room. There's so much energy in this. 
<laughs> Damn, it's just a sound effect just blasted in my ear. Alright, there it is. Hi, Bulma! Hey, you're both here! <sighs> so this is the time machine you were talking about? Yeah, that's right. Here, I'll take out my time machine. Check it out. This is the time machine I came in. As you can see, it's identical to the other one. But this one looks like it's been here for a really long time. Looks like something made this hole by melting the dome from the inside. Let's take a look inside. What? What's this? Really? They couldn't animate the thing opening? They Ew, couldn't animate the it? dome opening up I, and them taking the sure. eggshell out the What's machine? It doing in the time machine? <laughs> this is some sort of egg, isn't it? <sighs> What's going on? It's not just this egg that confuses me, though. Huh? I looked at the onboard panel and happened to see when this time machine left. What do you mean? Obviously, it's from the same time as you, right? Maybe. Actually, it's from even further in the future. Three years after I left. Dun, dun, dun! Three years? And that's not all. The panel showed that it arrived here four years ago. Yeesh. Uh, uh, so that means this thing arrived here one year before I did. What's going on? Why did this thing come here? <sighs> I thought the reason the two androids, Goku and the others fought, were different. And the reason history had changed so much was because of my coming here. But this, it's possible this thing might actually be the cause of all the changes. Run. Uh, wait, what's that? What's what? Oh, it's just, I was wondering what that is. How is Gohan the only one to see this? Uh, like, right? How is he the only one who saw this? Some sort of exoskeleton. Gross. An exoskeleton? Is it from some sort of mutant bug or something? I bet. That's what was inside the egg we found in the time machine. Right. It probably grew too big for its skin and then, and then shed it. But how did it end up in this time period? Either someone placed the egg in the time machine or they came here carrying it. Uh, hey, you guys got a bad feeling. Yeah, about I'm with her, bro. Too, I'm, right? I'm dipping. This was me. I did like, yeah. no, uh, no. Nope. <laughs> I am not getting drink tonight. Get out of here. <laughs> you guys are gonna be at Kame House, right? I'll call you if something happens, okay? Right. Thanks. What? What's going on? <laughs> so confused. The mysteries just keep piling up. Indeed. Yeesh. Okay. Someone level up. Kami looked down in both amazement and fear as Gohan and the others discovered the mysterious exoskeleton. Just as Kami had feared, a town that was near the exoskeleton was getting a taste of that terror. Trunks and Krillin made their way to the town to investigate. Aware of the coming disaster, Kami accepted his fate and prepared to make the ultimate sacrifice. It seems my time has come. Time for me to provide my assistance as a warrior rather than a guardian. 
What Earth needs now is not a watchful eye from above, but a powerful new defender. Then, around the same time, Piccolo, filled with a greater sense of determination after the fight with the androids, made his way to Kami's lookout. Bio-Android Fiend from the future. All right, it's time. He's here. I can't believe I'm actually going to see that old prune. Your boy Piccolo is he? <laughs> I mean, not Piccolo. Your boy Sal is here. Yeah, I did not get enough sleep last night. I am tired as hell. If we don't do something about that monster, the Earth is finished. I hope you're what? ready for this, Kami. Kami! Please don't do this, Kami! The Earth needs you to keep watching it! No. It needs a warrior, Mr. Popo. Bitch, don't tell me what to do! Just checking everything here. <laughs> I just come down from the ceiling. Kami, I assume you know why I'm here. That I do, Piccolo. Though I am Earth's guardian, I stand powerless before the threat to obliterate it. There's nothing more vexing. All right. Then you're ready to do this? To become one again? Of course. Though I am not without my doubts, I'll have you know. <clears throat> the After mic all the time, don't tell me you're scared. Well, if I am, would you be capable of alleviating that fear? What? A long time ago, in my ignorance, I allowed evil to take root in my heart. Those who walk the path of darkness are fated to become demons. This was demonstrated by my other half, King Piccolo. Your father. Were I to repeat the same mistake after our fusion, the resulting catastrophe would far eclipse the android menace. Yeah, well, I can see that. Skip to the point, old man. Why do you hesitate? Spit it out. Hmm. Well... Your forthright resolve certainly gives me a bit of hope. Very well. Just Answer trying to me this, the Piccolo. green screen behind me. It is now truly the time for this fusion. Should we not observe the situation a little longer? Uh, another quiz. What do you mean? Wait. Is there something else at play? Something I don't know about? I see you, too, falter before this unknown potential for peril. Wh what I shall ask you once more, Piccolo, is now... Yeah, yeah, just to show you guys what would happen, you chose the other uh, choice. But yeah, this is the choice. Nonsense! Now's the time! Oh, come on. Oh. I'm trying to see... Okay. Whatever foe stands before us, we will defeat it. It's that simple. I see. Then allow me to ask you one more question. Once we merge, the Dragon Balls will be lost. Well, what of your resolve now? Uh, it's not really an issue since I can't use the Dragon Balls right now anyway, so... Yeah, not really an issue. The Dragon Balls aren't an issue. If I fight as I am now, I'll be killed. You'll disappear, and the Dragon Balls disappear too. True. They're gone either way. True. So, if we need to send those murder machines to the compactor, we need to take a stand now. I see. Your reasoning is sound. Very well, Piccolo. 
To one flesh and one spirit we shall return. It seems my time has come. Time for me to provide my assistance as a warrior. It seems my time has come. That's right. Earth needs extra power. It seems like I'm the one that's going to provide that. Very well. I will lend my body to you. Uh, call me. <laughs> I'm going to be the base. Got it. Indeed. I will provide you with nothing more than a power boost and my vast knowledge. Once on the That's surface, a lot of knowledge for Tommy, bro. Town. There is a monster there wreaking havoc. You'll learn all the other details once we combine, as you will have access to everything that I know. Got it. Thank you for everything, Mr. Popo. <laughs> my friend. Goodbye. Cool. Farewell, Kami. Please, don't die. Nah, no promises. I am neither Kami nor Piccolo. I am a Namekian who's forgotten his true name. Uh, so, Piccolo. <laughs> I mean, the subtitles are still going with the name Piccolo, so, might as well. Alright, new Piccolo, let's go kick some cell ass. Ginger Town, huh? Okay. Ooh, a new sub story unlocked. Nice, nice. If I'm correct, I can do two sub stories now. Before fighting Cell. Do I dare? <laughs> Alright, so. There's one in Ginger Town by, you know, where the monster's attacking. And then I can go to the one that's over here. Yes. Yeah, so. Just for you. Just so you guys know, uh. When you defeat an enemy from, a, from the past. You have a chance to revive them with the Dragon Balls before they go, you know, poof. And between recordings, I managed to go out of my way to go back and do all that. I revived all the past villains that we fought up till now. So Raditz, Nappa, the Ginyu Force, I think Frieza are all back. So, yeah, and they have some side quests for you to do. have made his way here yet. So... Right now we're gonna go do those. Weird to be right now we're gonna go do that side quest. But at the same time, it but, feels right. But the thing is, you gotta there be a specific character to do that side quest. For Raditz, you gotta be Piccolo. I think for everybody else, you gotta be uh, Gohan, which is strange. Yeah, not one for Goku. Nope. It looks like someone wants to die. I'm ready whenever you are. Let's do this. So that's all, huh? Alright. I just wanna check I just wanna keep a good knowledge of my stats. Okay. Almost the 42. I can level grind a bit before I you know I go if only top. I'd known about this freak sooner. I could have done something. Looks like someone wants to die. I'm ready whenever you are. Let's do this. I'm done. What? <laughs> so that's all, huh? All 
Alright, I'm just... One more battle should get me to 42. Alright, last one. Don't kid yourself, you can there never beat me. <laughs> Looks like someone wants to die. Ha! I miss being overpowered. <laughs> Looks like someone wants to die. I just missed this. This I miss. See Raditz. Oops, ran right past him. Hey, what? All right, <laughs> round two. I should say, in Pickle's case, round three with Raditz. <laughs> How does it feel to be brought back to life by the guy that killed you? What? What do you mean? Vegeta didn't do this. I thought he learned about my death and wished me back. Vegeta doesn't strike me as the type of guy who would bring something like somebody like you back to life so easily. <laughs> I just let my guard down for one second, that's all. I'm no pushover, I'm an elite warrior of the Frieza Force who's taken loads of planet taking over loads of planets. Heh. <laughs> Fine. If you really think you're that tough, then prove it. It's just me and you now. You're gonna regret messing with me. Get a second. Oh wow, okay, okay, okay! <laughs> okay, 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 I, I see you. Do I dare? Blow this nigga up! Blow it up, Piccolo! Blow this nigga up! Washed. <laughs> no, no way! Damn it! How did you get this strong? <laughs> I refuse to be left in the dust by my worthless baby brother and his loser friend. <laughs> well, that's where your weakness lies. 
Unlike Go unlike you, Goku doesn't make excuses for losing. <laughs> Shut the hell up! I'm a proud Saiyan warrior! <laughs> if I train, then you would be able to be touch me. Is that so? <laughs> hey! How about this? You train with us and show us what you can do. Fine. <laughs> Fine. I'll take great pleasure to passing you and making you beg for your lives. <laughs> you'll never. <laughs> you'll wish you'll never have been dumb enough to give me this chance in the first place. Cool, I got his pog. Nice. Yeah, let's see. All right, so that's the other side quest out the way. Oh wait, central beans. Central beans. Caught in. I should have went here first. Forget the side quest. <laughs> All right, got six sensu beans. Hey. Now let's head to Ginger Town. Thing that's killing all these people. Who or what could it possibly be? <laughs> oh, these guys from Namek. Hmm. Now then, where could it be? I'm quite famous. <laughs> hey! What are you two doing here? Huh? Oh. <laughs> Look, I'll cut straight to the boy. If you know what's good for you, you'll leave this planet at once. Or at least wow. this town. <laughs> Would you happen to be an yep. earthling? Oh my, the people here are green as well. Mm. Do your ears not work or something? I told you to get the hell out of here. Mm. We just arrived on this planet. <laughs> That's not. They're not exactly the listening types, are they? Just who the hell are you two? <laughs> <laughs> We're just tourists. Filthy rich tourists. That's it. <laughs> oh, we came here for the taste of this planet's delights. Yep. We're ha <laughs> We're lucky. Happened to meet you. Would you be willing to show us around? Hmm. <laughs> not a chance. There's a monster in this area. And I'm here to hunt it down and exterminate it. <laughs> That's it? That's what we came here for. Wait, what? Wait, what? Yes. That's right, we love to dine on that monster. You're talking about cell? You want to eat it? Oh, wow! <laughs> oh, don't you earth. Oh, don't you earth. Eat it? <laughs> Not cell. Can you imagine what would happen <laughs> if some oh, random God. earthling just takes him and just eats him? Oh my god. <laughs> Would they turn into cell? <laughs> Would he drink them from the inside out? <laughs> yes. Oh uh, no, it's just a dinosaur. Yep. All right, so okay. <laughs> Getting a dinosaur. Give me a break. Huh? Hey. Hey! <laughs> if it gets you guys out of here, then yeah. Yep. Southeast from here. Okay. <laughs> you 
Gizzard Wasteland. Back where we fought Dr. Shiro on Android 19. God, this loading screen is a huge spoiler right now. Oh. Yeah, that's it. Right there. Oh, my ear is killing me. Alright. This dinosaur- why does this guy look like he's made out of iron? The iron dinosaur. Now I've seen everything. Well now, this could be fun. Uh, just don't lead me into the wrong direction, please. I do not want to feel like getting into a fight right now. <laughs> yeah, say just in case until I get to a fight that I can't handle. Stupid thing. I have to backtrack again all the way back from. <laughs> well, now, this could be fun. The one thing I hate about stuff like, like this, this thing is, die. this thing is very hard to keep track of. All right, just stay in the wall. Stay clipped into the wall, please. F All right. And then I get too close, he's gonna knock me out of the sky. Yeah, just stay, stay in the wall. Stay in the wall. Stay in the wall. Fuck. There we go. Huh. Fast travel? Okay, we're fast traveling there. Saves, saves me just trouble of trying to get there. Woo! Oh, this guy, uh, Frieza Force Chef Malone. Yeah, it's the chef guy. Give me a boy. Oh, we're fighting him again. All right. Then again, Pickle never met Chef but Malone, and I am overpowered as hell. So no surprise, I took him out in like two hits. <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> upon, you know, discovering the dinosaur meat, these two just ate it raw before the chef can just cook it. That's how they, they prefer it, like that. They prefer to eat it raw. What? Yeah, they ate it all! Yep. Yes. Yeah, we're just putting all those seasonings on the meat would just kill the natural flavor. Hey! <laughs> yeah, everybody has their taste. Let's see. <sighs> yep. Off to the next planet. Oh. Okay. You wow. guys to a good planet. I was gonna say Mars, but okay. <laughs> yeah, Yardrat's cool too. Wonder what they have on Mars. I owe ya. Bye, Lone. <laughs> mm. 